Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the uh, Delineator Home Institute Department of Service Party Sandwiches from 1928. We're going to be making the roast beef sandwich. Of course that means the first thing we got to do is grind up some roast beef. Now to our cup of ground roast beef we add tomato ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, a seemingly large amount of salt, and of course melted butter. That all mixed together. And then we put that on the bread. Okay let's give this roast beef sandwich a go. You can taste the ketchup in the Worcestershire but it is salty and I scaled down the recipe proportionally so that is the correct amount of salt for the amount of beef and in my opinion is too much salt. Um, yeah I want to try and plus this up a little. I'm going to add some prepared horseradish to kind of punch through that salt and a slice of tomato with some black pepper but we don't need salt. Okay let's give this roast beef sandwich plussed up with a little prepared horseradish and a seasoned tomato a go. That helps significantly. The brightness and the punch of the horseradish and the, the umami and the sweetness of the tomato are definitely helping to take down the salt. Now it's still a little salty but now it's not nearly as bad. All right so the original roast beef sandwich would have been pretty okay if they had cut the amount of salt called for in half uh, but they didn't and it was running the table so I'm going to give this a four. Plus up with the prepared horseradish and tomato seasoned with black pepper that gets it to about a six six and a half that is tasty. Uh, the reason why a lot of old recipes call for grinding meat is because it kind of extends the use of it. You're usually combining it with a bunch of vegetables or something else. This, not quite sure why they had you do it. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to finish this, but uh, I don't think I'll ever make this again. I can buy sliced roast beef. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Mm -mm. Meat paste. Come and get your meat paste.